Hello, we bring you the greetings of peace. This is a religious program, so we are going to present this program biblically religious. I say biblically religious because there are religious programs full of hypocrisy. Uh, they are out to convince people to join them. It is not our intention. Our intention is to bring back people to God through His words in the Bible. The Bible is the only book that we are going to use in this program in teaching people the faith that the Lord Jesus Christ have taught 2,000 years ago. We believe in the Bible and we believe it is the only authentic book from God on earth and must be used in searching for the truth and must be used in teaching the truth to people. As the writing of St. Paul to Timothy says in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 15 to 17, I read, And that from a child thou hast known the Holy Scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus. All Scripture is given by inspiration of God, and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. I want to pause for a while on verse 16, dear friends out there. The Bible tells us all Scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. I want to especially mention the praise for reproof, for correction. When you are going to use the Bible for correction and reproof, you have to be frank enough to tell people what they are doing is wrong, what they are practicing is erroneous. So along the course of this program, God willing, we are going to present to you uh, frank words of the Bible that may be for reproof and for correction. Correction is used in errors, in mistakes, in sins, in malpractice. There are malpractices in religion, there are abuses, there are exploitation, and especially one hateful thing in the eyes of God is hypocrisy. While people are pretending to be of God, their practices in religion and their principle in life are contrary to biblical religiosity. Why do I say that? Let us read. In the book of Titus chapter 1, verse 16, it says, They profess that they know God, but in works... They deny him, being abominable and disobedient, and unto every good work reprobate. The Bible clearly tells us or gives us a picture of other people using the Bible and pretending to be having God in their understanding. The verse tells us that they profess that they know God, but in works they deny him being abominable and disobedient. So, to this kind of people, we need reproof and correction. The Lord Jesus Christ corrected the malpractices of the scribes and Pharisees in his time in Judaism. The hypocrisies of the religious people in his time, the Lord Jesus Christ time and again attacked their hypocrisy. Uh, let us read some. I cannot read all. Let us read some to prove my point. In the book of Matthew chapter 23, it says on verse 25, Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For ye make clean the outside of the cup and of the platter, but within they are full of extortion and excess. 
Those are the practices in religion in the time of the Lord Jesus Christ. The scribes and Pharisees, which show themselves to people as religious people, they are called by the Lord Jesus Christ as hypocrites. Why? They pretend to be clean. Why do I say they pretend to be clean? If you look at them at the outside, just like a cup uh, or a platter, they are clean outside. But within, they are full of extortion and excesses. Meaning, there really are things in religion that we have to correct and to reprove. For example, if along the course of our program, uh, because this program will have a question and answer portion from our uh, listeners and watchers. This has been going on for the last three decades in the Philippines, in Asia, and about a decade in the United States of America. And uh, in so many parts of the world, this religion presents a portion wherein you ask the host of this program of anything that concerns faith and religion, and we answer it from the Bible. Along the course of our program, we will encounter questions like, uh, what is the real name of God? Uh, of course, when I answer, I have to make people aware uh, of there are different answers of different religious denominations. For example, if you ask a Jehovah's Witness as to what is the real name of God, they will uh, undoubtedly say that Jehovah is the name of God. But to be frank, brothers and sisters, uh, fellow citizens of the world, uh, to tell people that Jehovah is the name or the real name of God is not telling them the whole truth. But misleading people to a name which is not uh, logical to believe that the, that's the real name of God. Remembering that the Bible was written in Hebrew, the first portion of the Bible, what we call the Old Testament books, were written in Hebrew and in in the, in the New Testament were written in Aramaic and in Greek, it is very easy to discern that Jehovah is not the name of God. Why? Simply for the reason that there is no letter J in the Hebrew alphabet. Somebody knowledgeable of the Hebrew alphabet will not say, or will not teach people that Jehovah is the name of God. Uh, but we do not mean to attack anybody. We are just trying to bring out the truth uh, because of a question that is time and again being asked of me. Because there are people who believe that we must use Yahshua, Yehashua, Yahweh, Jehovah, etc. Uh, and because we are to talk about religion and the topics of religion is very intricate and very broad, uh, we cannot but uh, mention sometimes belief that are flourishing all over the world. There are, there are those who will say that the name of God is Krishna. There are those who will say that the name of God is Allah. There are those who will say that, that the name of God is Jehovah. But which of these people and which of these religious groups are telling us the whole truth and nothing but the truth? It entails a lot of research and searches and and documentation coming from uh, almost all possible sources of truth. Of course, we believe that the Bible is the ultimate source of truth. But we can also use uh, other books to prove to people that uh, there are other sources of truth for information purposes, for, for historical purposes. Uh, because of our search and research, we have arrived to the conclusion, the inevitable conclusion of the fact that Jehovah is not the real name of God. 